Hello and welcome to this Panel Pilot Ace tutorial video. In this tutorial video we'll be showing you a quick workaround to implement incrementable variables. In order to implement incrementable variables we're going to need to use the PWM control switch. Since this enables the user to increment or decrement the PWM we can utilize that functionality to increment or decrement our variable. So I'm going to assume you've already created a new project. From this screen, the first thing we need to do is to add our visual elements. For this project, the visual elements we require are going to be one up button, one down button, and one text box with which to display our value. So, in order to create my up button, I'm going to drag in a rectangle and a triangle, change the color of the triangle so that it's displayable on our background. In this case, I'm going to go with black and position it somewhere near the middle of our rectangle. Now that I've created this, I'm going to group the two items together and enable it up spinner. So we have our first button. To create our second, I'm simply going to copy and paste and position the new button somewhere below and name it down spinner. And then I'm simply going to rotate it 180 degrees in order to create our down arrow. Now that we have the two buttons, all that remains is to add our text box which is going to display our value and as such I will name it value and give it the initial value of 100. As well as this you might like to increase the pixel size to make it slightly more visible. Now that we've created the visual elements we're going to move on and add our variable. So we're going to need a number variable and I'm going to initialize it as set point with a value of 100. Okay, now that we have our variable, the last thing before we go on to our functionality is our hardware elements. The only hardware element we require is our PWM output, which is already named well, and so I'm simply going to set its initial value to 100. Now we're going to move on to the functionality. The two things that required are for us to increment or decrement the PWM using these arrows, and for us to then modify our variable and our text value to display the new found PWM value. So in order to increment or decrement our PWM value we're going to need a PWM control switch functional element which I'm going to name PWM switch. The PWM output element that is linked to it will be our PWM output we created earlier. The increase switch will be our up spinner. The decrease switch will be our down spinner. And I'm going to set the step size to 1 so that our value increments or decrements by one every time. But you can use whatever value you want. Once we've created this element, these will now control our PWM. So the remaining thing to do is to add a hardware trigger. This will enable us to perform a specified action whenever a hardware element changes. In this case, we'll be performing it whenever the PWM output changes. As such, we will be naming this PWM trigger. The action element we're going to link it to has not been created yet. For this we're going to choose to use a set rule action. This will enable us to do two things. Firstly we need to set our newfound variable to the value of our PWM. So we'll select variable and then select set point which is the name of our variable. And we want to set it equal to the value of our PWM. So we'll need to select the properties of our PWM output and we want the value property. Now that we've set our variable we'll need to set our text box. In order to do this we'll set the property of our text box called value. The text property specifically will be set equal to our variable set point. So this will now set the value of our variable based on our PWM output's value and we'll also set the value of the text box to the new set variable. When you're done with this you can hit save and now we can link our PWM trigger to this action which I'm going to name PWM action. So now that we've implemented all of this we can hit F5 to run the emulator. You should see that the value will decrement or increment based on which button you press. Now this text box is representing your variable. As such, your variable is now incrementing or decrementing 
when the button is pressed.